Hello my adventurous minds, are you ready to reveal another secret of reasoning where you are going to develop the coordination between your brain and eyes? Yes, that is water and mirror images. So let's move ahead and understand what is a water image. So could you see here a statue of Shivaji and it is formed near the water and the same image upside down is formed where you could see the head is at the top here the head of Shivaji is at bottom so we say it is upside down and this is called image in water so it is a water image and similarly we could see we come across mirror images also so every time mirror image is the vertical image and if I make half of any alphabet and then take its mirror image to your surprise it makes a complete alphabet so one half I prepared and I placed a mirror there and I could see it forms a complete alphabet which is at a symmetry at the center that is vertical symmetry now let's move further and we have an activity where you will be learning that how the objects look like when you make the mirror image of it. So just half of your cake is completed here isn't it and let's look at this candle. So could you see that this candle is completed like this. So where is another half of the candle? Yes we call it mirror image and the corn is completed like this okay so this is another half we call it mirror image of the corn now let's move further and we could go in the lap of nature what do you see what sort of images are these very nice we could see that water images of the nature is formed so you could observe that the tree at the top is forming its exact water image in the reflection and this is again another example of the water image which is very eye catching. So your eyes coordination with the brain makes you more smarter, more intelligent and more better decision maker that's why we learn the reasoning related to the mirror and water images here we have different alphabets from a to z which have their mirror images over here so i'll just give you the example if you write alphabet b its mirror image will be vertically inverted like this if i write alphabet g like this so its mirror image will come like this okay so we say it is always literally inverted image and some of the alphabets exactly look same like alphabet a alphabet h i they are looking same you could see we have m w is there v is there u is there t is there so if you just keep in mind we have o also like that that which of the alphabets exactly look similar when you have the mirror images now the same thing you could see with the lowercase alphabets also that how they are formed when we will take their mirror images and these are the mirror images of numbers from 0 to 9 now we talk about water images so when we say water image it immediately tells you that your image is vertically inverted here that means upside down and downside up so this is how your A is written and its water image comes like this but most of the alphabets you could see they are having exact same water images so here H is also there I K then we could say X is there so we have to just remember which of the alphabets have exactly same water images as well and then I have given you the entire list of lowercase alphabets with their water images 
So just hold a pencil in your hand and try making water images and mirror images of different alphabets and different numbers. It's a fun filled activity, believe me. Now moving further, we have numbers as well. How the numbers give the water images and after this we come to examples. So what do you see here? We have to select the correct image of the given figure and here we have a mirror. So that means this particular part will come here right and this way you could just analyze that which is the right option. So here and this part will have this triangle with arrow up and looking very carefully this cannot be the option this again cannot be the option and we get C as the right option. So we have to visualize open up your brain give a thought to it imagine how the object will look if you will look it in the mirror image and you will come out with the right option. Now we have another question where we have to find the water image of a word quite. So this is Q upside and you see the lower side of the Q will come like this, U will come like this, I will remain same, E will also remain same and here comes T. So we say B is the right option. Let's take another figure and for this figure you want to form the water image. So water image means something below right and something below means you are going to make a reflection at the bottom. So V turns to this V and F turns over here like this and we come with the right option D understood. So this is how you could solve the questions. Now I brought various questions for you when you have to form the mirror image just try making the image like this okay so then you write n it comes like this then i comes like this and this is how k is formed and you immediately come with the answer a interesting so hold your pencil and your time begins now i've given you a variety of questions here please try doing these questions they are really a good concentration exercise. So the basic requirement is put your 100%, use your eyes and brain and do your mental drill and I believe you will come out with flying colors. Now we have few questions related to water images. So what is the tip to be remembered? Just recall which numbers form the exact water image. And another important thing is upside down. So keeping it in mind, you could form the water images of different words and numbers given here. So I know you are very excited to do your 100%. I know the more you are going to concentrate, the more better results you are going to produce. I'll be back with you in the meantime. Do this mental exercise. See you later.